This weekend saw chaos at the seaside town. The aftermath of residents venting their anger at police. They say it was the release of months of tension between themselves and law enforcement. The tipping point was the death of 19-year-old Stephen Figaji. Police say he drowned while poaching abalone. But friends and family members say the bruises on his face tell a different story. They say he was assaulted by police and his death made to look like a drowning. These fishermen say police have been abusing their authority for months. Residents say they've laid countless complaints against the police's tactical response unit. But local police have done nothing. Jonathan Mayer shows where he has allegedly been hit on the head by police. We're just ordinary people. When we're relaxing at the harbour, they attack us. Drinks are poured over us. It's not right. We are human, just like them. Where are our human rights? Residents say they're victims of a police assault squad, even if they have permits to harvest from the sea. We've been complaining to the Hamanas police station all this time, but nothing's been done about it. We've opened cases, but nothing. They just run cold. The Independent Police Investigative Directorate says it's called a meeting with residents to take down the complaints. They've promised to investigate all allegations of abuse by police. Austin residents say their level of trust in police has reached such a low point that they're calling on Fisheries Minister Tina Jumat Peterson and President Jacob Zuma to intervene. Lester Kivet, Horston in the Overberg.